All right, hello. Uh, I know all the rage right now is NFTs, but in this video, I actually wanna help you, show you how you can code your own ERC20 token. And you've probably seen a bunch of uh, meme coins out there. So if we go on coin market cap, uh, you know, a funny thing lately is that Shiba token, Dogecoin and Shiba Inu, these are both, uh, you know, top 15 tokens. Uh, but Shiba Inu, is an ERC-20 token. And what it means to be an ERC-20 token is that it is a cryptocurrency that lives on the Ethereum blockchain that conforms to the ERC-20 standard. So uh, let's just jump right in. I'm gonna show you how to code it yourself. It's actually really simple. Um, I'll show you how to deploy it too and then get it uh, set up in your MetaMask wallet so that maybe, you know, if you wanted to, you could actually trade these tokens on the market on a decentralized exchange or anywhere else. So let's let's get into it. I'm gonna open up my terminal here. Uh, so there's a couple of prerequisites and uh, I, I threw together this document, but I'm going to clean it up and make it something that everybody can follow along um, in a GitHub repo. So when I have that ready, I'll put that in the YouTube description. But basically we're gonna be using these tools right here. So it's, we're gonna use Hardhat, we're gonna use Ethers.js, we're gonna use Alchemy, and we're gonna use Open Zeppelin. Uh, this will just help us make make this development process super fast and easy. And then a couple of prerequisites is you do need to sign up with an Alchemy account. So I'm not going to go over that in this video. I do have other videos where I've talked about this. Uh, same with MetaMask Wallet. If you don't have a MetaMask Wallet, uh, you should get one of those. Super useful and uh, helpful for, for building stuff. Um, and then we're going to be using some coding tools. So uh, the NPM Package Manager and the NPX Package Runner. Um, awesome. So let's dig right in. Put this on the side right here. So first thing is uh, we're gonna initialize our repo. So I'm, I actually have a uh, repo called Shiba. I'm gonna go in here. So this is empty right now. Uh, and then first things first, I'm gonna initialize a, uh, the npm package for this uh, for this project. And then we're gonna install Hardhat. Let's just do that. I, I think I, I seem to have misremembered which what the command is here, but um, yeah. So, anyways, Hardhat is a tool that we use for deploying and testing, um, and you'll see like a configuration file we use later. So, we are going to create a couple of folders: um, the contracts folder and the scripts folder. And then we do want to git ignore, so let's add a git ignore. So that way, um, when we initialize our Git project, we ensure that we are ignoring these two things, the end file and the node modules. We don't need to be sending these to the, um, the Git repository. Okay, awesome. So at this point, your folder should look something like this, contracts, package.json, node modules, scripts, package.json. Great. Okay, uh, so the next thing is we're gonna install Open Zeppelin. So this is the command to uh, get a bunch of contracts that they've implemented for free. So we're gonna install that. And then uh, we are also going to, I'm just gonna start opening up my um, VS code. But I'm gonna open up my uh, code editor and I'm gonna open up the pro this project. So uh, you should be able to see here, contracts, node modules, and scripts. So node modules will probably have a bunch of stuff at this point because it has all of our dependencies that we've installed. Um, and then in contracts, we're gonna create a new file called Shiba Inu.sol. And this is where we're going to start writing our Solidity smart contract code. So uh, our code will actually look like this. It's super straightforward. Um, and I'll walk you through this real quick. This first line is just to tell people what open source license are you allowing them to uh, use. So uh, right now, as of this video, 0.8.0 uh, .0 is uh, the, the Solidity version that we are using for this for this uh, contract. Um, I think the late, that's also the latest Open Zeppelin contract version as well. So uh, that kind of matches really nicely. Um, but you know, if you're watching this in the future and there are uh, later Solidity versions, then you might want to use that for security purposes. And then we get into the actual contract. So the way you you define a contract, a uh, Solidity contract is with this kind of like overall wrapper. Uh, it's kind of like a JavaScript class, you know, or a Java class. Uh, and then it inherits from the ERC-20 contract. So this is where that Open Zeppelin thing came in. 
we uh, this is the actual implementation. So if you click into it uh, and you open up like Open Zeppelin token ERC twenty ERC twenty dot soul, you'll be able to see all the code that it implements. So like approving a transaction and transferring a token, etc. So we're actually just inheriting it, and by inheriting it, we actually get every single thing in that contract for free. Um, and so we don't actually have to do that much work. What we do need to do is pass in this first argument that says we want to name our token Shiba Inu and the token uh, ticker symbol will be SHIB SHIB. And, uh, and then the last thing is we're going to just initialize this ERC20 smart contract by minting 1 million tokens and sending it to uh, me, the deployer of the contract. So that's pretty much it. That's the whole contract. And then we're gonna go through, uh, go ahead and compile this, mpx hard hat compile. And this is just to make sure that your code is, did I not start the config? Oh, okay, I didn't start the config, okay. So we're gonna create an empty hardcat config. All right, and then uh, you can mpx hard hat compile. And uh, turns out we have the wrong mpx uh, or solidity version. So let's open this up and then we should change this to 0 0.8.0. Uh, we want this to be 0 0.8.0 because that matches the Solidity file and the Opus uh contracts that we're using. So let's compile that. And then boom, everything's compiled and you'll actually see artifacts and cache pop up. So in artifacts, contracts, Shiba Inu, .json, you'll actually find the ABI definition as well. And that's the interface of the smart contract that our test code will use. So um, let's go back here. The next thing is a deploy script. So I'm gonna copy all of that. And it looks really long, but I promise you it's actually not that complicated. We're just gonna go into the, the scripts folder and create a deploy.js file. You can name it whatever you want, but that's just like a very intuitive name for me. So that makes sense. Um, let me make my face smaller. And so you can see in here, there's a lot of commenting and it's really just so that when we're deploying and we're testing locally or on staging, you can see what's going on. But the actual logic for deploying is really short. Uh, really what we're doing is we're getting some signers using ethers.js and um, this is actually something we're gonna have to install. So ethers. So this command I actually need to show you here. Um, Ethereum waffle is the main one. I don't think we actually need chai because I'm not actually writing any tests, but we're gonna install that. And then back to this deploy script. So in this deploy script, what's going on is we're going to get the deployer account. So this is the local test account that we're gonna be deploying with. And then we're going to actually do the deploy. So the deploy logic is pretty much these three lines right here. You create a co contract factory with the ethers JS SDK, and then you call the deploy on the contract factory. And then doggo coin lowercase, now it points to the deployed contract. And then, um, or actually, sorry, that's the instance of the contract. And then you can deploy that contract using, uh, make sure that this deploy contract transaction finishes here. Uh, and then I do some stuff here where I check how much gas did we actually spend in order to deploy. So that way it helps me estimate the real costs on the main net, uh, network. Deploy.js. Yeah, there we go. Okay, cool. So you can see all this output here. It's pretty cool. And then if you want to deploy this to mainnet, then all you have to do in the hard hat config is also define a mainnet um, network. So it should look like this, mainnet. And then the, instead of ETH ring fee, it should be ETH mainnet. And then if you'd like, you can uh, use the same key, but I prefer usually creating a new key on Alchemy so that my two projects are separate and it's easier for debugging. And then you also want to make sure that if you're using a separate account for testing as for mainnet, then you swap this out with the mainnet private key. And then you just go through the deploy steps and then boom, you have a live token. So you can check out here. I've done this actually live for myself. And in my MetaMask here at the very bottom, we have 6.9 trillion doggo tokens. So that's pretty exciting. All right, so that's it. If you wanna make your own meme token, those are all the steps you need. Uh, let me know if you have any troubles working with that tech stack or anything else. And I'd love to hear about what tokens you make. See you next time.